Hello, and welcome to episode 9 of my Anno 1404 tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on continuing quests in chapter 4, starting with the quest Soaking Wet Children. So if I click on my ship, now that it's back at the harbour, you'll see here the children are on board, so let's click Start Trade, put them in my warehouse, and also grab the tools that I got can't get the wood yet. Okay, let's click. A few blankets and a mug of hot wine will soon warm the children up. And there we are, that's that quest done. We're stuck at the border of the Orient. Perhaps the Sultan's Grand Vizier will help us. I've brought a gift. Please pick it up at my ship. Okay, so he's got a ship and that will open up trade and also opportunity with the Orient. So let's click that. Uh, let's expand this so you can see the quests that I'm getting. So I've got that one, collect the gift for a Grand Vizier from Lord Northburg's ship, which is this ship here, and build a repair crane I've still got to do. So let's have a look though at my settlement because I want to get to tool production uh, so I can upgrade my town more and earn more money. Because that's what it's all about. Okay, so we've got a stone deposit down here which I can build on. If we go back to the buildings that I can do. Uh, so in order to get the ones that I need, the iron smelter, the charcoal burner's hut, tool, they all need stone. So it starts with the stonemason's hut. So let's put that, so it's got that within the range. I think just about there should do it. And let's now put a road there. Uh, yeah, the woodcutters is fine. That's within that area. These should now, as you can see, start gathering the stone, which will then start building up in my warehouse. So in order now to do the next building, which is the iron ore mine, I need two stone. So hopefully that won't take long. Once I've got tools and stone, I can upgrade my warehouse, which I definitely want to do, but I need four stone for that. But remember, each upgrade gives you an extra car, so it'll be nice and quick. I'm also going to destroy this cider farm once I've built another cider farm away from the town over here in this area. And in the last episode, you'll notice I've put too many fields down. Oh, I don't know why. Oh, wait a minute, no. It's five for that, but for the cider farm... Wait a minute, let's check. Yeah, you see it only can cope with four fields, and I put five down, so I can actually rip one of them up. Rip that one up. Then that's happy, and the same for this one, I think. I've done too many, so let's rip one of these up. And rip a heart. Let's rip that one up. There we go, four and four. But I still need another cider farm over here. And then I can rip up my other side of farm. So let's. But that's going to require tools. So I don't want to do that until I've got to tool production. So we've got the stone now. Let's do the iron next, which is over this way. There's one here that's got the most in it, and one over here. Yeah, there. Now I'm going to rip up this. Um, market building as well because I want to build my town up here mind you that is handy for giving me so anyway let's do my next warehouse over here for this iron here we go small market building and if I put it just there good that covers some of that coast as well Okay, let's now put down an ore mine. Uh, 
run a road from that. To my small warehouse. Then I'm going to need a charcoal burner because I believe the iron smelter needs charcoal. So let's do trees and produces coal. So we want to do this one next. Do that over this side. Like that. Run our road. There. Next, we need to do the iron smelter. Need two more stone, which I've got now. That I want to make sure reaches my small market building and the mine. So I can put that just there. We don't have many tools left, but I've discovered an iron deposit on the island. Let us set up our own tool production plant for all eventualities. What do you think I'm doing now, you silly man? Anyway. So let's okay that. So the last step in the chain is the toolman's workshop. Unfortunately, I've just got enough tools. Just waiting for stone again. Come on, stone masons. Gather that stone. There's three waiting to be collected. Just got to wait for this warehouse to do it. Let's check on my food and so Oh yeah, they're both max nearly. The food is going down apparently. I might have to do a third fisherman's hut. Remember, these are all the yellow, the orange down arrow means the resource is usually going quicker than it's being produced. So I'll keep my eye on the food. Right, we should have the stone now. Now we can do the stonemasons. It's tall workshop. And it can be there, I guess. Ah, the toolmakers have started work. That'll make things easier. Right, yeah, so now we're going to have constant supply of tools. Right, now that that is done, we can think about working our way to the repair crane. And also we can collect the gift, so let's do that while that's busy smelting. There we go, may as well put the wood in there. Okay, so let's find out where we gotta go. Oh, so just to this ship. So let's sail alongside it. Can I entrust you with the gift for the Grand Vizier now? Yeah. As far as I know, the Grand Vizier is staying further south of this region. Let's hope that my present will appease him and he will help us. Well, let's find out. So we've got to go to here. Oh! Hey. What beautifully woven material! Are these the clothes for the children by any chance? Yeah, go on and you can have them. Ah! You truly have a great heart. God bless you. There we go. So that was another quest done really quickly. I just needed some clothing. Okay, so let's... Production has been disrupted. Keep an eye on the colony. How are we doing? The food is going up, so I don't think that orange was accurate. The two should be plenty for now. We I... do not care if the storm blew you here, or if you are part of the Occidental fleet that recently passed through these waters. You have entered the Honourable Sultan's realm without permission. Oh, he sounds a bit uh, <coughs> annoyed. I have seen so many unfamiliar faces lately. 
And you said you had something for me. So let's give him the gift. Your, Your true character. The people are starting to talk about you. And I'm starting to trust you. So there we go. We've got the first rank, 50 prestige, which has opened up some new buildings. And, <coughs> excuse me. Your, your true character is revealed by your actions. And he gave us One of my ships was badly damaged when it ventured out into the storm to rescue some of those children you've been looking for. It is in urgent need of help. Ah, so he's given us a quest. I thought he was giving us free ropes. He's not. So he's, we need free ropes in order to fix his ship. So we'll Are you that. interested in precious items from the Orient? Also, we have access to his, his uh, warehouse now. So we can purchase items we wouldn't otherwise be able I to I don't often receive visitors from the Occident. <laughs> So here's some of the items we can get. Rope maker's wheel. So that increases productivity by 25%. Very nice. And also we can get some really nice items in here as we unlock. Um, but what we want to do now is send my boat back. And we can think about doing his quest once I've got ropes. Ropes, I'll need hemp. Right, I'm getting tools now. So what I can do is allow my settlement to grow. There we go. How's this There's all There's nowhere in the world finer than here. And that will give me more money. Need to build another side of farm, so let's do that now. I'm going to destroy the other one. And uh, that can go this side. There we go, let's put a road there. Now, once this side of farm starts to produce the cider, then I'll destroy the other side of farm so I can expand my settlement without having a cider farm right in the middle of it. Also, I can start upgrading these now because I've got tools and stone. So, which is the most important one to upgrade first of all? Let's do this one. There we go, that's been upgraded. Now we get an extra wagon going about so we collect resources quicker. That might have been why the food was showing as going down because the cart took too long to go between all of these different buildings. That should fix that. This is full, so I'm... No, it's not full actually. Why is that? Oh, he's just emptied it. It was full. This one's still full, so we'll get to that next. But now I've got two carts going around, which is better. Okay, let's see if I need to upgrade. So I can remove this now. Don't need it here anymore. gives us more room to build. And I don't like the way this settlement is built, so I want to straighten this out. Let's destroy the house in that house. Oh, and there is the timer. 
I thought I'd make them shorter episodes because I'm not sure if everyone likes to keep watching 30 minutes. Um, so now what I can do, I know I should be ending the episode, let's just quickly straighten this out. Put two houses there. That puts the road now back in the line, so I can put that to there. There we go. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here, and we'll carry on with the settlement in the next episode. And maybe do one of these quests. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you, and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.